What happened before this wonderful age of wizardry and light and happiness? Before Jed and the Archmage, before a wizard of Earthsea, before all of that, what in the world took place? Well, this book shows what took place. Hello, fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I had this awesome, epic fantasy book the Earthsea Cycle, Book 5. The Hey, I Tales from Earth Sea by Ursula K. Le Guin, and well, let's get right on to it. So, a disclaimer: it's not really all the history of Earth Sea before, before Jed the Archmage and all those adventures in the first five books, and it's it's different. Uh, first four books, I mean, it's different. It's different, and. Some stories, a couple, there's a lot of stories, like five or six, I think, and some of those stories are were or how how these uh, customs came to be, how how the wizards, how the wizardry school was made on Rook, how Rook Island was made, how some of the culture and the customs were made and stuff like that, and it was just really interesting to read, and there were and there is so there are some books that. Some parts that seem to, let's say, set up the next book, book six. It introduces characters that first appears in book six, like for example, Irion, the fierce woman who can turn into a dragon. And really, it I think of it as a little bit of a wrap up of what happened before and who taught Jed, and some background history, and to top it off. A little bit of a preview for the next book, and I feel like I'll be honest with you. It felt like a preview book, like a setup book to set up the next story in the Earthsea Earth Sea cycle, the final story. And I felt like it was a nice little wrap up of what happened till now and what is going to happen. A little bit of that, and some stuff that we would like to know. For example, there's one story that I really liked. It was about Ojeon, who is, if you all remember, Jed's old master. And our dear Ojeon is known for stopping an earthquake from happening in the small town of Gaunt. But we find out that his master, Ojeon, I mean, Ojeon's master, was actually the one who was stopping the earthquake. And if Ojeon perhaps stopped ten percent of the earthquake. Her, his master, stopped ninety percent of it. So we find some of that stuff out, and we read an interesting story about a man who who could have become a great wizard, but refused the title and just chilled out and became what he truly wanted to become, a musician. I feel like that really takes off, like. I mean, in my opinion, who would ever want to not be a wizard? But then this person didn't want to be a wizard and just become a musician. So it's like showing that wizardry isn't the best. It it's the best if you think it's the best, but a lot of people don't think it's the best. So that tells a little story. And I one really interesting story was a story before Rock, where it was crazy because there were wizards. Wizards that just abused their power and sold their power to warlords, and it was a chaotic time with brigands and bandits and pirates everywhere. And I feel like that it's really troubled. But then Rook rises, where they teach wizards to do the right thing, to use their powers for to defend themselves or mostly to defend the people, the normal folk, to help them. To heal, not to injure. And well, it I think it was a good cap off for the next book. I keep mentioning this. I'm sorry, but it kind of was a cap off book, and it was an awesome book to read. It was really interesting. And well, and like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. There's not really much to say. I'm just saying. The next book kind of sha- put this one in the shadow, the final book, and Earth Sea.